The focus within pseudo class in CSS is a very interesting feature. For example, look at this table I have here. This is full of some random student data. When I highlight on this cell, you can see that the whole row now has a background color of light gray and the cell itself has a background color of light green. Same thing here, 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 here. And this can be done in different ways in CSS, but with focus within, it is even easier. And in this video, I'll be helping you understand how this pseudo class works using this table example I have over here. But first off, what does this pseudo class do? This pseudo class in CSS allows you to select an element when that element has any of its descendants in focus mode. For example, take this input. We'll be looking at the table example in a minute. Now, let's say I want to style the input when it is in focus. I can simply do input focus, right? And let's say I give this background color red, color white, not a very fancy color, but let's see. Now, when the input is in focus, it has that background color of red and it has the white text. Now, what if I want to style the div when the input is in focus. There are several ways you can do this, but let's see how to do this with focus within. So I can say div and then I have my focus within and then here I can say maybe border two pixels solid purple. What I'm pretty much saying here is if any of the descendants in a div is in focus, style that div with border two pixels solid red. Now coming back here, when you focus on the input, it has the background color of red, but you can also see that the div now has this border of two pixels solid purple because we are focusing on one of the descendants of the div and this can be any descendant so even if we had a button if you focus on the button the div also has that style if you focus on the input the div also has that style now let's look at our table example so we have this table over here and these are inputs so you can change the student id you can change the first name you can change all of these inputs currently the role is not highlighted but let's Let's quickly go through the code. So I have my table element here. In it, I have a T head and T body. This is for the head of the table. And then for the T body, I have my row. And for this row, I have three inputs, which is the ID, first name, and last name. That is the end of the first row. For the second row, I have three inputs. And same thing for the third row. For the style, I have a basic style here for the body. The input has a border of none, outline of none. The reason why I removed the border of none for the input is so we don't have all this load of of borders everywhere. <laughs> then I have a background color of transparent for the input so that you can see the background color of the TD. And I apply a transition for the background color of the T body row and the T body TD. Now let's use focus within for the T body TR. Here I'm saying T body TR focus within, then give the TR a background color of this light gray. And what this means is that in the T body, in the TR, any of the descendants here that are in focus mode, we're going to style this TR. Now, if we come over here, once this input is in focus mode, you can see the whole row now has that background color. Whether it's this cell or this cell or this cell, as long as it's a descendant of that TR, that TR will be highlighted. Same thing for here, same thing for here. Now, let's do something for the cells. In the cell here, I can say T body, TD, focus within. So, under T body, under TD, if any of the descendants of the TD is in focus, we're going to style the TD. In this case, we have only one descendant let's say we also had a button here that just says hi for example so now if the input is in focus you can see that the td has that background color of light green also if the button is in focus the td has that background color of light green but we can do without this button so now by using focus within we're able to highlight this row when a cell in the row is in focus and we can also highlight that cell specifically same thing for the other cells and in a table like this you are enabling users to know where they are, what role they are, and what cell they are. But there are a lot more use cases of focus within, but the idea remains the same. Selecting elements that you want to style when that element has any of its descendants in focus mode. I hope this video teaches you a thing or two about CSS. If you enjoyed it, please give this video a like, share with others, subscribe for more CSS videos like this, and also check out more amazing CSS tips. I <laughs> What's that? And also check out more amazing CSS tips I have on my channel. You can see some videos currently on the screen. You can click any of them.